Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a Mother's Day shaker card. I'm also going to be showing you how to customize these window dies to add a little bit of color and sparkle. I'm going to be using the Happy Mother's Day window die from Hero Arts. Hero Arts carries many of these window dies and these are great for making shaker cards. You can use these same techniques on any one of those window dies. To start off, I have a piece of white cardstock that I centered this window die on and I held in place with a low tack tape. Then I ran it through my die cut machine and I'm just poking out the negative pieces. I'm going to be using my Copic markers today to add color to some of the die cut areas, but you could also do water coloring. I'm starting off with my vines, so I have YG06 and YG01, just adding color to those pieces, just being mindful of the edges, because I don't want to get that Copic marker on the outside of this. I just want it to be on that die piece in the center. I started by using my lightest color and then adding bits of the shadow area with the darker color, which is the YG06, and blending those out. I'm also coloring these on a piece of scratch paper, so that way I can get a complete colored area and I don't have to worry about getting my work surface messy with um, any of my Copic markers. Now I'm moving on to the happy and the day part of the window. So I have R85, R83, and R81, and I'm doing kind of an ombre look. So I started with the darkest color towards the bottom of the word and then blended out, and I repeated that on the word day. I purposely left the mother's word part uh, open because I am going to use glitter paper for that. Now I'll be using the Hero Arts Holiday Sparkle cardstock. This has the gold in it, which is absolutely beautiful. And I just want the word mother, so I or mothers. So I ran that through the die cut machine and now I'm trimming that out with my scissors, just trying to follow the die. Some of it overlaps with the word happy, so I'm gonna kind of follow along those letters so that it looks like it was its own separate die. I'm gonna just take this and add some liquid glue to the back of it and add it over the top of that white piece that is on my window. Now this is gonna add a lot of stability to it as well. After I place it down, I'm going to use my tweezers to kind of wiggle that around, make sure everything is lined up. It's kind of the bonus of using liquid glue is you have a little bit of that wiggle room and I really wanna make sure that those edges are lined up nice so it looks like one complete piece. To start turning this into a shaker card, I have a piece of acetate that is cut just a little bit smaller than my card panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So the acetate is just a little bit smaller. I'm gonna start by adding tape runner to the outer edges, and then I'm gonna take liquid glue and add just little dots to the rest of the area or that window area. Now, if I got a little bit too much liquid glue, I can always kind of blot that off with my hand. And then I'm gonna place the acetate over this. So this is the back side of our window piece. I'll push that down, make sure it's adhered really well, and then I'm gonna flip it over and also push down and just kind of scrape away either with my tweezers or my fingernail, any excess glue that might have seeped out. This liquid glue actually dries clear, so it shouldn't be a problem if I missed any. Now we are going to create our well for our shaker bits. So I am using foam tape and I'm folding it in half. So I cut a really long strip folded it in half, so I doubled up my foam, and then I'm using my scissors to trim this down. I need it to be small enough to fit on these very small edges on the side, and then I can just line around my entire card back here. This is what we call a well for a shaker, and it's gonna hold all of our shaker bits. Now I'm just pulling from my stash. I have some gold, I have a little bit of sparkle. Some of these are a mix of Simon Says Stamp and Pretty Pink Posh. In the picture that I showed at the beginning and at the end, um, it's a little bit of a different shaker mix because I kind of had been playing with this design prior to making the card. And in the picture, I had used some sequence mix from Hero Arts, but really anything from your stash will work for this. Now I did forget an important step went before I added my sequence. So I kind of pushed everything into the center and then I'm going around those edges of the inside of my well with an anti-static powder tool. This is just helping it so it's not so sticky on those very, uh, very edges of the foam tape and helps our shaker bits move a lot better. Now I can spread these out. We don't want to leave it as a pile and we want to make sure that these are as flush with the foam as possible because otherwise our shaker card won't move very well. Another thing I have found very helpful is that 
I am holding the corners of my card front down with some low tack tape and that's keeping my card nice and flat because as I remove the backing of that foam tape, you can see that the card wanted to curl up, which makes it really hard to add our backer panel. So this is a piece of white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half that I just added over that foam tape and then I can go ahead and remove that low tack tape. So this really, really helps me lately, making sure that I'm getting that nice and flush. And there we have it. That completes the shaker card. These are just really fun to make, really fun to give to people. You can play with them. And because we colored and added some sparkle to that, it's just really going to stand out on somebody's table. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will have all of my supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. If you're not already, I would love for you to become a subscriber and be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified of when new videos are posted. Thanks so much for stopping by.